Yeah, well, I'm not full enough for this. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't think I am either. <laughs> Welcome back to the premiere challenge. We're here top four. Alan Martinez, Jonathan Hernandez. Let's go. Now, exciting. this is super interesting because this is actually Jonathan's first in-person tournament here. Um, I think he's been a little active on Twitter, uh, and he's done some, like, some IC stuff, but this is his first tournament and he's now top four. Like that's that's really impressive. That's really impressive. Right off the bat, just to go yeah. jump in and hit that, it's, that's impressive. <laughs> and Alan, of course, he has been around, I think, a little bit longer than I have. World Invite T twi twice, I think. Twice. Once? Yeah, I yeah, don't so. keep track of that. But all right, here it's we so. go. So Alan has a very interesting team, but a very Allen team. Mm -hmm. Liebhard, Salamence, <laughs> Nihaligo, Tapulele, Groudon, and Necrozma, Donwings, and Jonathan bringing in an Amoongus, Torn uh, Tornadus, I've never actually used that full Pokemon name, Kartana, <laughs> Incinora, Kyogre, and Xerneas. It's kind of like, ca these two teams are just practically cows for each other. You have two different Tailwind Centers in Salamence and Tornadus, and then you have both the Hoenn Legendaries and uh, Groudon and Kyogre. Uh, it's just basically like, and then Incineroar and Lifeword are kind of the, the, the dark fake out users. It's like, it's like and the cats. bizarre, and cats. You oh, know, you, could, you, you could just like ruin this whole match by just bringing a laser pointer. Because <laughs> 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 isn't, isn't Tornadus technically a cat too? Like, is I it? Um, I, I have no idea. So Sparky. I Landorus is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about Tornadus. <laughs> Jonathan. Locking his battle box a moment before Alan does and bringing us in. Was that the pose again? Where was it? Was Alan doing the see. pose? <sighs> we'll have to look later. It's a nice sweater. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised someone hasn't made like that type of stuff in real life yet, you know? <laughs> I know. That'd be so amazing. It would. All right, so Jonathan bringing in Incineroar and Tornadus. Yeah, you know what? They're both cats. Just, yeah, cats. it looks like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and Alan's got Nihilo and with Salamence. You see Salamence is Intimidate here with uh, Jonathan having his own Intimidate to follow. So everyone, you get a minus one, you get a minus, minus one. one. Everyone gets a minus one. <laughs> <laughs> You're old enough to understand that reference? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm dating myself. All right. God, I miss Oprah. Oprah's I really fun. miss Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Salamence so gonna go for the Mega Evolution here. Both of these players have possible Tailwind users, but we do see the fake out. That's gonna fake out Nihiligo on Alan's side and taunt yeah. from Tornadus to prevent any possible Tailwind from Alan's side. And there it is. So um, Jonathan's got a good t good chance of setting up Tailwind on this next mm -hmm. turn. Um, I mean, I don't think the story is going to survive at the end of the turn with Nihilo Go on the field. Yeah. Actually, both both uh, Jonathan's Pokemon are weak to Power Gem here. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Hyper Voice or, or Double Edge to finish it up, finish the job. But the good thing is, you get Tailwind, and sometimes Tailwind is just what you need to win a match. Like, mm -hmm. if you have Speed Control, you can play with your opponent's mind with, no matter how many Pokemon you have left. So there's But the Jonathan getting that Tailwind up. And there's the Hyper Voice, so it looks like you're going to start off with a little trick damage on both. Not going to be able to get either one to 50%, and the Power Gem is going to target a Tornado, so that will no longer be in play. Mm -hmm. Meaning, Jonathan can't get two wind up or get any no. more speed control for this uh, for this match. Yeah, and as soon as the Tailwind ends, so is the Taunt, just about, so it's a bit of a tricky situation. Kind of set yourself on a timer here. Mm -hmm. But you turn on Incineroar is a nice play to get you back into a better position. You can either bring it back in and get another Intimidate or Fake Out, or if your two Pokemon in the back are better than Incineroar, with like they need Tailwind to function, you bring them out. And Kyogre Kyogre's definitely chooses Tailwind. <laughs> I'm gonna do that every time now. Not apologize. I wonder where Miguel. <laughs> Miguel's not here, so... No. I made the noise. I made the noise, Miguel. But uh, Kyogre definitely, definitely, actually, in the, against this combination, is very useful because either you're able to water spout and knock out Nihiligo or ice beam and knock out Salamence, and then we see, I believe that's Xerneas. Yeah. So now at this point, uh, you set up G clear Geomancy with with your tail when Jonathan's combo here really functions well. So we have the creator of the sea, a magical <laughs> deer. Uh, something from a different dimension. A jellyfish from a different dimension. A jellyfish from a different dimension, <laughs> and a dragon all on the field. 
game is amazing. Yeah, if you were to describe this to anyone who didn't know Pokemon, <laughs> they would think this is the coolest thing. Or the weirdest. Yeah, one of the You know what, it's both. But Alan bringing in his Groudon so that he gets the weather set up. Very useful here because you, again, like I said, you go for a Water Scar or you're just not going to die. Here we go. That's out of the question now thanks to the Desolate Land. But you still have the Xerneas set up. It is unfortunate, but um, that because Xerneas doesn't really do well against Groudon, but at the same time, Jonathan could swap out Kyogre if they need. And um, I think a Moonblast... Uh, I don't but, know if Moonblast can Yep, KO. Zern going for that Geomancy yeah. with that Power Herb. but only takes one turn instead of the usual two. And I think... I love I this animation. It is this really is so cool. beautiful. And we get to see it a lot, so... <laughs> It's such a, it's, I don't know, I always love the Geomancy animation, but, and there's the water spout, so that is gonna evaporate. But it's evaporating in the sunlight, Sludge Bomb coming out onto that. Was yep. that, was that crit? Oh! oh. That's the third we time! We just love critting. We Zerny do! Is here. That's the third that time. That is insane, but Nihiligo special attack rising oh, one that's more brutal. time. I feel bad. It was, I, I actually wonder if, uh, even without the crit, the Zern would have been knocked out because his, this special attack was at plus one. But um, I don't oh, no, do I damage calcs, yeah, which is either. why I go one four. So <laughs> that's why I know. <laughs> so incident we're coming out for another intimidate, meaning that Nihiligo is at minus two for attack, and Groudon is at Nate is at minus one. I think here Alan's kind of like eighty percent chance Alan takes this right now because he can't mm -hmm. reset the rain. Groudon, if Prestus Blade's able to knock out um, Incineroar. Incineroar, and even if it's the, with the Intimidate, maybe it'll take two turns, but uh, Nihiligo, I, I, first off, it's at plus one, I believe, in Special Attack, and then the second thing is, or is it two? It's two. It's plus two. It's two, because it did knock yeah, out. Yeah, you're right. It, that's right. It was yep. the Power Gem that finished it. I had that reversed, but still. Fake out coming out, and the Ogre going for the yeah. Ice Beam, but... That's a crit, too. <laughs> that's a crit, too. Power Gem, Power gem yeah. knocking out that Incineroar, bye bye. yes. Alright, well, now we have a plus three to Plus three! Oh. Plus three. And you can't knock it out with the with the water either, so... That's unfortunate. <laughs> it was the crit! It was the crit! It, it was, yeah. It, that's the third game in a row where the critical hit has pretty much determined it, so... Against a Zern, too. Uh, there, yeah. Oh my god. At this point, if you're Ally, you just click Power Gem and uh, whatever move on ground on Presbyterian Blades or Fire Punch, even would be okay. Because that Nihiligo is gonna finish it off. <laughs> One turn of Tailwind, maybe maybe he can get that another crit. Oh no! He, oh yep. It's a forfeit. Jonathan forfeits the match, meaning that Alan gets game one here. So now Alan, I. I don't know if Alan needs to actually adjust or if he did it because it was a. He might mm -hmm. because it might have been a bad strategy that got lucky with the crit, but um. I personally want to see him bring Lipard, but that's just because earlier. I do enjoy Strange Pokemon on stream. That's I love that too, and Lipard, he did bring it in earlier, and it he was didn't really bring cool. Lele a Selgore like he said he was going to, which is great. <laughs> Not that I would ever be high enough to go up against Alan at a PC, but. I didn't mean that, that, that wasn't because you're bad, I promise. It's just funny the way you said it. Um, anyway, in this case, I actually think Alan's team is is, is fine here. Mm -hmm. I, I think, well, Nihiligo, Groudon, and Salamence are really useful. And then you, the last slot is either Lifebird or, you know, you really go eat any of them yeah. uh, thinking about it. So really, But Sparky locking yeah. in his battle box first. Alan taking a little bit of time, yeah. maybe. Maybe we are going to see... Switch up here. The purple kitty. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe we're going to find out in just a moment here. Let's it connect. <laughs> there you go. But you know, very nice sweater again. The sweater, <laughs> stylish. Don't wear it today here, but <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So Jonathan brings out Kyogre and its little friend Kartana, and Alan leading with Salamence and Neil Holigo. I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Someone can drag me on Twitter for that. I know. Um, I know. Never know. Like, that one's always giving me Nihiligo, trouble. I think it's Nihiligo, Nihiligo but Nihiligo. I, I always said Nihiligo when it first came out. So I don't. I don't think that's right. <laughs> Oto, help us here. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we see the primal versions of the Kyogre and Primordial Sea here. 
Uh, I'm curious to see what this Kartana is going to do, because Kartana A is weak to Groudon's Fire Punch if it's carrying Fire Punch, and or Eruption, or whatever Fire Stab move that Groudon has. And it also could possibly set up the Tailwind, but I don't think it does as well as Tornadoes, but it also has a better attack than Tornadoes, so, and there's the Groudon with that. It's definitely definitely Kartana here. And Groudon getting that weather switch in as well, so it'll be just like it is in LA. Didn't this happen last year in our first PC? <laughs> it, Kyogre took over and it was pouring out, yeah, and I now that. We're, we're in Groudon's uh, desolate land. Yeah. I yeah. remember that, yeah. Alright. So I guess uh, at the beginning of Sword and Shield, look to LA's weather to see what <laughs> Pokemon is going to be popular. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, Salamis goes for the Tailwind from right off the bat. No possibility of stopping it, but not at least not at first, as we see Smart Strike target that, that Primal Groudon oh, to do almost nothing. nothing. But the bright side for Jonathan is he does have that Ice Beam, and that's going to connect with Salamis and get rid of it. Yep. So, Alan got to bring in something different. That's why I'm not allowed to run Salamence anymore, because that happened to me one too many times. Yeah. That's, I, that is why you carry ice cream. <laughs> That's what I've, I've learned. I, ice is like the most... It's it, No one uses ice type Pokemon when you look at it. It's very few, but you, everyone has an ice move. Like, you do not get caught without one. And... Nihiligo, Nihiligo. The jellyfish coming in. <laughs> Do you think do you think we could uh, distract it if you played that song from SpongeBob? <laughs> <laughs> this is prime Pokemon analysis, Miguel. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Half of me wants to see that now. Like I really want to see what happens. I keep want I keep wanting someone to draw a picture of a Lando chasing a laser pointer. <laughs> Oh, that that would be funny. Ability laser pointer, and it just, just it makes all the cat Pokemon <laughs> flinch on their first turn. Yes. <laughs> yes. Speaking of cat Pokemon, we have Incineroar <laughs> here coming in with Intimidate, and Nihiligo gonna substitute here, so it's gonna be able to survive the turn. Groudon going for Eruption and against the literal paper. No way that Cartana is surviving. No. Sorry. Hey, hey. Um. <laughs> How did, oh god, what's the joke? Man! It's okay, yeah. Oh yeah, how does how does Cartana see movies? How? Pay-per-view. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, Miguel shaking have his head. now been banned from Pokemon Labs commentary. <laughs> well... Well, Jonathan has been able to take, use that that Kartana sacrifice and now have Kyogre in play, uh, which does allow him to go for a water spout against both Nihiligo and Groudon, which will be super effective. Uh, this Incineroar is in a bit of a tough spot, can't really do much. Um, it did come out with that Intimidate, so it could fake out, but um, I don't think it's going to do too much against either one of these. And Groudon's obviously going to switch out to get that weather back later. Yeah. Oh, and there's the thing that's gone, so... Tabu Lele coming out, meaning that any priority moves will not be able to work. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna see AZ, cause, oh, it's Rocking MZ from the top, or from the Nihiligo. It um, is. I don't think Nihiligo's at plus one right now. Mm -hmm. So, this is gonna be just a normal Z, normal power Z move. Crush. Yeah. So, the question is the target, oh. you know, the Incineroar target here. Yep. And the Incineroar has already been shipped. There's yeah. that is a KO from our Nihiligo. Nihiligo. Yeah. I'll that... figure it out at some point. <laughs> Special attack going up one stage, but that full power water spout coming in. That just one hit oh. KOs Tapu Lele, but on the bright side for Alan, that Tapu Lele going down is gonna allow his Groudon to come back out, and with that KO on Incineroar. You can't, Jonathan cannot switch out his Kyogre to reset the rain, so even though it's not necessarily best for Alan, it definitely helps him out in that regard, and he's got a plus one Michael Ligo, so he's definitely got a bit of an advantage here, I think. Mm -hmm. And Desolate Land coming back up, and Jonathan sending in his Xerneas. Not the right time. Well, I mean, it's the only time, and it could have been the right time, but unfortunately, just not going to work out here for Jonathan against two things that resist fairy moves, and one with a that has a special attack boosted Sludge Bomb. Uh, 
not necessarily the right like like now, again, I can't say it's the wrong time because you didn't have another time, but it's just unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Just like the critical hit earlier, it's bad luck. Yeah, but that Zern is going for the safe play and going for a protect. And Jonathan double protecting then his ogre as well. Wants to basically make scout out what they're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Sludge Bomb would have connected and Precipice Blades would have connected as well. At this point, I'm thinking you ice steam Nihiligo and hope it freezes. <laughs> That's about it. You know what? It, I wouldn't even be surprised if Jonathan's able to take the match because of that. Just, we had three you, in a row with the crits. You said it now. Like, you jinxed it. I you jinxed put it, it out in the universe. Yeah, so again, if it happens, it's Alan, it's, it's his fault, <laughs> not mine. But that Sludge Bob coming oh, in to that, yeah, that Xerneas. And <laughs> Nihiligo is now at plus two, and Precipice Blades, our old friend. <laughs> or enemy, depending on which one who you are right now. If it freezes, I swear. Okay, it's Groudon, but still. Groudon. Didn't freeze, mean, okay. Didn't freeze. <laughs> Not okay, the stream good, curse today. Good. You'll survive yes. this one. <laughs> uh, and at this point, now he goes faster than the best Sludge Bomb, which is 100%, so Alan's yep. going to be able to take the game. Oh, yep. Nihiligo goes for the Sludge Bomb. Knocking out the last 25% of that ogre. Still, that is a very good run yeah. in top four for someone who has just joined us in the LA local scene. Stay a while, we're all very strange. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> admittedly, we, yeah. <laughs> very weird. All right, hey, Alan. Come on. Come over here. We have a chair for you. It's chair. always low. And you're shorter than Anthony, so this is going to oh, be no, better. There you go. What's up, guys? <laughs> Here, I'll, meet, I'll come down to your level so it doesn't feel as weird. Yeah. All right. So, uh, live hard. You have it. Why? Uh, Oliver um, sent me the paper. So. Well, thank you, Oliver. Shout out to you, Oliver. <laughs> well, I never had to go up against you, so I have no problem with Oliver and Tag. All right. So, what do you think about that match? What were you worried about, if anything? I mean, I played Jonathan and Swiss, so mm -hmm. um, my main concern was dealing with the torn. Um, if I let him um, live, he might end up setting like role play on the Kyogre because I have Groudon. I don't know. I just wanted to take out the Tornadoes as Good. fast as possible. Was there anything you weren't specifically worried about? No, nothing much. Uh, just Zern. Doing Zern things. That's about it. <laughs> doing Zern things, yeah. Doing, doing magic Zern things. So, uh, you know, you... We're at World. We had a lovely time. So when you're going into a tournament, what are you doing a couple weeks before, the week of? I mean, for anyone like me who needs to work on tournament prep. I mean, don't follow my idea, my ideas because um, I don't practice at all. I you just, just uh, I just build my teams yeah. and then uh, I just don't practice. That's it. Uh, I mean, others like practice, like they ladder. They team build, uh, they go over like specific uh, scenarios, but I don't. I just uh, build my team and I just stay off of Pokemon for as long as it takes. Cool. Then, when it comes uh, to, when it's time to compete, then that's when just get back on and get it done. Try it, try it out. All that's right, working well, today, evidently. Yes, so it you're is. in the top so two. You'll so, you'll be in finals. Okay, last question. Anyone you want to give shout outs to in the room, not in the room? Uh, just my friends uh, from DHS. Up, guys, if you guys are watching, I don't think they're watching. But it's okay, I don't mind. <laughs> For their sake, I hope they're not watching. <laughs> yeah, they never watch. Hold on, okay. Well, thank you so much. Good luck in finals, and I'm sorry, you have something on your nose. Oh, it's uh, my glasses. Leave the mark. It's hot in here, it's gonna happen. It's really, really hot in here. Yeah. That being said, I'm going to go outside. Here. All right, yeah. go outside. <laughs> All right, thank you, everyone. We will be back for finals after our last top four match is done. I don't actually know what they're doing. Playing still? They're still playing, so. Patrick's playing with his hair, so it's not a great sign. Um, <laughs> thanks for joining us. We'll see you for our last round in this lovely, brutal, hot day in Southern California. Yeah.